Hey everybody, uh, my name is Cody Owen. I work with MLC CAD Systems and today what I wanted to do was I wanted to break down the what's new for SolidWorks 2023 uh, specifically uh, in regards to the SolidWorks electrical. So today we're going to be looking at this, uh, what is this little frozen drink dispenser here. Uh, what we want to do is we want to make some changes to it, which is a very normal process to have to do. And what we want to do is we want to I'm going to first hide this uh, piece of sheet metal so that way I can see the motor. So this motor is, is out of date. Uh, it's, it's no longer being manufactured, so we had to replace it with a different one. It's not a big deal. Uh, we can definitely do that pretty easily in SOLIDWORKS Electrical and SOLIDWORKS 3D, and we're going to see some new functionality. So check this out. I'm going to uh, switch over to SOLIDWORKS Electrical so that way I can talk about the new functionality with deleting components inside of your uh, schematic tool. So I want to jump over to the components tree and what I want to specifically delete out of here is the M2 motor. Uh, that's the motor that we saw in the SOLIDWORKS mechanical on that 3D CAD and the uh, contactor that hooks up to it. Uh, let's see, it should be in the electrical closet here. Yeah, this is the beater motor and the beater motor starter uh, contactor. So what I want to do is I want to replace those with some updated units. What happens if you try to delete them? Well, I'm going to highlight them both, hit the delete key on my keyboard, and now you're going to have this new option enabled called deleting components. And what it's going to say is like, okay, uh, we've got some, uh, got some feedback here. We can delete the components without the associated symbols or we can confirm what we've chosen and delete the components with, its, with the associated symbols and components without associated symbols. So we're getting a lot more feedback than what we used to. So check this out. I'm going to go ahead and confirm this. And this is that point of no return, right? That everybody's been used to. Well, that point of no return gives you some very valuable information. It says, hey, if you remove this component, the C1 contactor, all of these other things are going to get removed as well. And of course, we can click yes to continue or no to be like, oh, wait, no, I want to I want to go back and, and redo that because that uh, that 3D part is is a good one. You know, if, if that was the case. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes here uh, to finish off that contactor. Same thing for the motor. I'm going to go ahead and hit yes again. But that is fantastic to be able to see what's going to be deleted when you hit that yes. All right. And you can see down here at the bottom of the screen. Yep. Uh, we no longer have that motor there. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and replace it with a macro. I've got a, a motor start macro ready to go here. Let's drag that over and drop that in place so that way we can continue on forward. So I'm going to finish this off. Just let that paste everything out the way it, way it is there. And we can see now that we have motor one and C1. So we've added the new schematic components and symbols inside of this. Let's get out of this tool, go back over to SOLIDWORKS Mechanical and finish that design out. So I'm going to go back over to my electrical assembly. Here we go. Well, we can see, hey, yeah, we deleted that motor. It's no longer there. And the contactor, I should have hidden this out of the way a minute ago. That contactor was right here before. And now, now they're gone. So I'm going to take just a couple minutes to insert these two components in place. I know uh, most of you have probably seen how you can insert components before, but hey, if you're still hanging out, you can watch me take drag these over. Ooh, and now we're going to do some mating. Oh, man. A few moments later. All right. So now that we have added our components back into place here, what we want to do is we want to look at reassociating those components with what we already have inside the model, inside of our schematic tool itself. So SOLIDWORKS has done something pretty cool for 23. What they've done is they've actually added some more quick filter buttons over here in the top of that little menu area for your component tree. So check this out. 
show hide button is still here. We've, we've seen that and used that before in the past. It only hides the components that have not been inserted yet. But this other one's a new one. Check this out. When I click this little button here, it expands the entire component tree out all at once. How many times could that, could I have used that in the past? At least once or twice, at least. And of course, clicking the button collapses it back. But there's something else to, that I want to show everybody here. And as these icons have changed as well. So I'm going to go up here to the very top and take a look at the, uh, the C1 and C2. Now I just put the C1 assembly back in here, but it's not associated to it. That little icon that you see there, that indicates that there is a, it's a broken connection. It's not associated. Now the one down below that, if I left click on this C2, this little other little contactor, it highlights out here in the graphics area to let me know where it's at and that those two are associated. So it has that little part icon next to it. So it's really, really convenient that they have made it a lot easier to visualize very quickly and easily. And of course, using this show uh, hide all components. Now I can hide all the ones that have already been associated out there in the graphics area and I can expand out all the other ones that need to be associated. So I'm going to collapse a couple of these down because I want everybody to see the two components specifically that I'm going to be looking at. I'm going to reassociate these two guys right here, contactor and motor. Highlight, just like we have in the past, and go over here to associate, just like we have in the past. And the new thing they've added is the fact that you can do both of these at the same time. So let's break these up. Let's do these one at a time. I'm going to left click on the motor. I'm sorry, the contactor. And it's getting all of my connection points. You can see my mark data, my circuitry, uh, how many terminals. It still shows a lot of really useful tips and well, useful properties for my SOLIDWORKS electrical. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my green check for the C1. And while I'm still in this same tool, check that out. Now I can go ahead and select my motor and green check again. So very quickly and efficiently, you can multi-select as many items as you need, as many components, associate them. Just go through, select the one that you're working on, hit your green check after you've selected your component, and keep going to the next one. So they really, really streamlined that. It was it's a very manual method, right-click, associate, right click associate you know you know you know the drill from there everybody everybody's like everybody, i'm sure everybody's like yes that is pretty awesome <laughs> it definitely it definitely is pretty pretty awesome all right so one other thing that uh that actually was came from like a i guess you could say it's a little, a little bit of a combination between the solidworks electrical schematic and the 3d tools and uh, I'm sure some of the mechanical engineers like myself are probably screaming for this information. And that was the mass properties along with, well, any other file properties inside of your, uh, for your components. So let's take a look at this motor specifically. I'm going to open this up so that way as I'm working in this own menu. And I'm going to go up to the file properties and take a look at the component properties. And check this out. Under my configuration properties, you see that I have the beater motor description, series, the supplier name, uh, the, the use voltage, frequency, how, the power, the speed of it. All of this information came from SOLIDWORKS Electrical. All of this is now being propagated to your file properties inside of your parts. So no more going back and forth and duplicating work. Everything's going to be in one spot. So any changes that you make to the electrical schematic portion, you just got to come over here to this, uh, do a quick update, and voila, it'll start working well for you, and you've got all your properties that you need. So no more flipping back and forth anymore. <laughs> all right, so the last thing I want to do here, uh, after I showed, uh, showed this little guy, I'm going to route the wires. Now, once again, if you want to sit around and uh, hang out while I route wires, that's cool. I'm just going to hit the big route wires button up here at the top. I've got already, I've already got all my parameters set up, 
So I'm just going to hit my green check and I'm going to let this guy run. A few moments later. All right. So it looks like everything got wired up. Uh, looks really good. Um, all of my new connections, you can see my connections on the, the new mode or the new contact that I put in here, the, the one, the existing one there as well. Uh, looking back over here, the motor, I have my connection points on the motor coming out and those come up and are routed. So, so yeah, everything looks pretty, pretty good with this. Uh, I'm going to go back over here and just show those extra components. I'm going to save what I got and we're going to go back over to SolidWorks uh, schematic so that way we can take a look at a few more things new to SolidWorks 2023. All right, so one of the new things they've added for SolidWorks 2023 is the ability to create a connection label for your motors and you can actually or for, for really any component, but it's really nice to be able to show this for the motor, for instance. Uh, because check this out, what it shows is the basically the all of the connection labels for our motor. It shows the wires that are run ran to it, um, which wire terminals they are, the links to them as well. And if the, if I had wire marks on all of my wires in here, it would even show the wire marks. So uh, with just a right click, you can easily access those connection labels as needed. So one other thing I want to show you here, I'm going to move this one out of the way because I want to really replace this with another table. And for SOLIDWORKS 2023, they also gave you the ability to insert tables, not just in their sheets by themselves. So check this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to my reports and I'm just going to run the single line bomb. Just something real simple that we're going to include in a different location than normal. Uh, check this out. So I'm going to let it go. You know what? I'm going to put it in my reports folder. I like like having everything go to the, the correct location there. So we got to go into the right location. I'm going to go ahead and close this dialog out. We're going to jump over to our reports. And I'm going to take a look at this single line bomb. So this single line bomb, you can see we have... Our component tags for the circuit board well all of this pertains to the schematic that i have here check this out we can copy and paste those bombs from other documents from other sheets and they still work all of these high, all of these links in here still work properly uh, when you get a right click menu you can actually go to the component itself uh, you can uh, go find the symbol for the component. So if I left click on that, it takes me over to the symbol very, very quickly, very efficiently. A um, couple more things that it does is it will take you to the actual component properties. So if you were to look at that and you're like, oh man, the, the description's not correct. I want to change the description of that or uh, if the terminals, you know, you needed to do any, make any adjustments to the terminal marks, for instance you could quickly and efficiently access that information at just a click of a button, a couple clicks of a button. So uh, definitely kudos to SolidWorks for including that. I thought that was uh, incredible. As well as one other thing, and I know I teach the uh, SolidWorks electrical training class uh, every, every once in a while, and something that always comes up is like, hey, can we insert a picture in here? It's like, oh yeah, of course you can. But in the past, it's always been a bitmap. In SOLIDWORKS Electrical 2023, you have the ability to insert well, bitmaps, of course, uh, but the DIB images, JPEGs, PNG files, TIFFs, GIFs. The, I mean, just think about how much everything is just opened up for you. When you're sitting here looking at this, you're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Just truly amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and open this one up uh, to set this, this little guy in here. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and do a 0.01 for the scale because this is a PNG file. This is a high quality file and it's still going to have to be adjusted after I've inserted it. So I'm going to left click out here in space to insert the picture. And you can see it's a very good quality picture, but 
it's just a little too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of shrink that down so that way it will fit in the proper location. There we go. Just like that. <laughs> so uh, the last thing I want to show everybody is the, uh, the new uh, ability to export out all of your PDFs inside of this application. But one really cool thing when exporting them out is that now you can use this automat automatic orientation option. Before, you would either have to choose only portrait or only landscape. Now, you can choose automatic. And when you export all of the uh, PDFs out, all the drawing files out, whatever orientation they're in, hey, they'll match it. And it'll get printed out that way as a PDF. So, everybody, I hope everybody enjoyed this, you know, this kind of a sitting back, relax, you know, take a look at uh, the features that SolidWorks has brought to you uh, to make, really to make your life a lot easier. Uh, there's a lot more flexibility with the documentation and the schematics. There's a lot of, uh, a lot more co better communication uh, between the 2D and the 3D side of it. Being able to bring, propagate those properties over, I mean, that's huge, especially for the CAD side when you want to make sure to have everything filled out properly so a lot of good good features they have added for 23 so please uh stay tuned we have more coming our way